Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the end of June, June 25th through July 1st or whenever it resonates. This reading is generally a love reading so we will see whatever comes up. Please uh, keep in mind that this may not resonate with you because I can't read every single person. Um, this is for the sign of Sagittarius. We're going to get one of these and one of these. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Otherwise, it will be revealed at the end. What does Sagittarius need to know at the end of June? Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. It's out of your control. Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? <laughs> the tower. Avoiding downfall. Avoiding it. Trying to avoid it. Maybe you did. Maybe you have avoided a disaster. Could be. You could also have fear of suffering at this time. Maybe you 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 know you have this fear that you're going to suffer over some situation. Things are not in your control. Let go of control issues. There's some control issues here. Be trying to avoid a disaster. Trying to keep, and you know, we all do it. There's, we, that's what we do. We try to keep things structured. We try to keep things organized. You know, but the thing is, there's extremes. And if you think about the temperance card, which is, you know, Sagittarius, okay? Temperance in reverse is about extremes. Okay, so you need to find some sort of compromise here. You need to find some sort of balance in regards to whatever it is that you're trying to control. Okay. There could be some anger. There could be some anger that which is causing you to be to lack focus and concentration because something isn't going the way that you want. Hard work pays off if you want happiness. And you know that. And that's why you're trying to control things. Because you're looking for that happiness. You're looking for that bliss. But you have to be patient. Remember, temperance. Patience. Patience. Be patient with this transformation that you're going through. You may be on the defensive. You could be on the defensive. You might have your guard up. You might feel like you're on the attack. Discontent. Unhappy with how something is turning out. Not going the way that you'd hoped. Causing a lot of mental turmoil, stress. It's causing you stress. And, you know, you really need to... You know, I know we're always looking for more. We always are. I mean, that's what we are. We're humans. And we always want more. But maybe this is a time to take a time out and, and let things happen as they should. Divine timing plays a part in your life. It really, really does. 
And when you are struggling, you may be like, you know what, I, I can't take this another minute. I really can't. But uh, true struggling or true suffering brings growth. It brings true growth, real growth. That's when you're enlightened through suffering, truly, okay? So you guys are going through some sort of enlightenment that is making you struggle and you're being called to be patient. And, and you know, our true nature is to fight it. But you need to try not to fight it. Let this transformation happen. Let this this rebirth that's going on within you happen. You know, because right now, you fighting it, you fighting it, it it's going against you. It is. Okay? It's causing you mental stress. Okay? And discontentment. If a foundation needs to break down... It's a blessing in disguise and you need to let it break down instead of trying to keep something together that isn't strong. And I feel as though you guys are trying to keep something together that isn't meant to be. Okay? I feel as though some of you are clinging to the past. You're clinging to your old ways. You're clinging to how you used to do it or how it's supposed to be or how it used to be when, you know... You really need to water the new growth, okay? I just feel like, you know, it's time for you to get creative. Get creative, okay? I'm going to get some clarifiers, but I, that's just the basis. That's like the foundation of your reading. I'm going to zoom this in, and we're going to get some clarifiers. You guys are trying to keep things intact, intact, but it's, there's things that are very discontent and mentally um, challenging. Okay, it's causing you some some challenges, you know, in your head and a lot of discontent, a lot. And you have your guard up. You're on you're on the defensive because you're trying to keep things under control and structured, and it ain't working for you because you're not you're not letting the divine plan play out in the timing that. It's needed, okay? You're, you're wanting things to go how they used to go, and that's not working for you. And I can see that, you know, you want happiness, and that's what your focus is. Your focus is on that ultimate happiness, and that's understandable. But you're going to have to get creative and water the growth instead of the past. Water the growth, okay? Um, others see that you're discontent. How others see you, this is the position. And in this one right next to it, they see that you're discontent. They see that you're going through some sort of mental anguish. They see it. They see it. You're wearing it. Okay? You're wearing it. So keep that in mind. Um, right now, your guard is absolutely up 100%. And you're, all that you can think of is, is I want happiness. I want bliss. And so I'm going to... I'm gonna. I'm really gonna buckle down, and I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to get things in, in under control. The thing is, is, you can't always control things. Things are not always in your control. All right. Hmm. So others see you. Maybe they see that you. Um, I mean, the magician card is somebody that, that isn't taking action, isn't aware. Um, isn't aware of divine timing, isn't aware of um, the resources that they have within them. They're not using all the resources. They're not, you know, finding that passion that, that they need to have. Others see that perhaps you're not um, living up to your full potential. Others see that, Okay. I'm sorry. You probably lack self-love at this time. Maybe you they maybe you're not manifesting like you should be. If you're really focused on control, then you're probably not manifesting. And this is lack of manifestation it is. So if you could if you could let things unfold naturally and think positively instead of being angry and upset and on the defensive, remember your thoughts become things. That's what manifestation is, part of it. 
if you're living in this state of mind, you're not going to receive anything positive out of it. Divine timing is real. Your challenge is the Six of Cups reversed, the past, your old ways, how it used to be done, how you think it should be done. Holding on, your, your past is your challenge. Clinging to the old ways, clinging to the, what, is, what it used to be, how it used to be done. That's your challenge. Your future is taking the lead, finding the strength and the confidence and the courage to move forward and getting creative. Coming up with new ideas in the future. Around the corner, this is investment. This is hard work pays off. Patience. Patience. You are going through some period of healing right now, some some period of <coughs> mastery that is changing you for the better, but you're trying to fight it. You are, because the seven of wands, you're trying to fight it. This is this is growth as well. This is about you are gaining strength. To face your fears, to take control of your life, so that you can open up and be the person that you're meant to be. But you usually gain strength through suffering. Okay? That's what's going on. It's still going on because you're still going through this healing. You're still going through this renewal. Be gentle with yourself. It takes time. Your old wounds are mending and you need to let go of the past sorrows and the past ways and allow yourself this oneness that you are becoming with the divine, but don't fight it. You know what I mean? Allow it to happen in its own time. If you're trying to control it and you're trying to push it, then you're going against the divine order, the divine time. You know, the strength card is also about restraint. And the temperance card is also about restraint. Maybe you need to restrain yourself from having your guard up, from being defensive, from trying to push things, from trying to control the outcome. Maybe you need to restrain yourself from that mentality. The future, these are, this is the future and I put this here. The future, you will have happiness, you will have wish fulfillment in the future if you can get creative find confidence keep the confidence happiness is coming it is but i have to th i have to throw this out there this is an ego card. This is an ego card. This is an ego card. Ego. Wanting to live up to somebody else's standards. This is an ego card as well. There's ego here. We all have it. Not pointing the finger at just you. I'm just saying it's coming up in your reading. It's a big deal at this time. Worried about what everybody else is going to think. Therefore, you're trying to push ahead too fast, not letting the universe, the divine, take its time on you.
This is lack of emotion, a need to be more playful. Why don't you, why don't you let go for a little while? Rest, relax, go have some fun. Stop worrying about the outcome so much. It's going to happen. Happiness is coming. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. You're healing. You're going through a period of healing. The sorrow is being released. But it's not going to happen overnight. During this time, don't rush it. Let it happen as it should because you're still growing. You're still learning. It's time to go out there and have some fun. I think you have your heart too set on something. It's too set on one, one scenario. Be open to the possibilities that the universe has in store for you. Be open to it. It's out of your control, Sagittarius. It is. You can't control it. You can control your life to a certain extent, yes. But whatever the divine plan is, Whatever you agreed to, this is my belief, before you came down to earth, that's the plan. And if you fight it, then you're going to suffer. Somebody's also not following their intuition. You can't fight destiny trying to control destiny. I just got done talking about this. Clinging to control. There's control issues here, Sagittarius. Trying to fight destiny. Divine timing. Slow down. Just slow down. Let it happen as it should, when it should. Go with the flow. You're healing. You're gaining strength. You're gaining courage. You're gaining willpower. You're gaining confidence to face your fears in the long run. You're so close to this oneness of your being, you are, you really, really are. But pushing it is bringing you backwards, backwards. So Sagittarius, I feel like this is a week where you need to let go. You need to lighten up. You need to, you need to go have some fun. Let it happen as it should. Happiness is coming. It is coming. Your hard work is going to pay off when the time is right. Do I see new love coming in? No. The Ace of Cups reversed. Because you're still working on you, you're still healing, you're still evolving, you're still growing. You're still working on mastering your emotions. And right now, there's still some anger built up in there somewhere. So I, I don't see that there's a new offer of love coming in. Maybe in the future. You will have it in the future. You will. Because we have the Nine of Cups and we have the Ten of Cups. You will have it in the future after you go through this period of healing and trusting. So this is a week of gaining strength. It is. This week you should start to feel stronger. You should start to feel more confident. and beautiful. You're probably looking pretty good at this time, really good. 
because you are going through some sort of transformation. I know that you are. You're going through a rebirth. And that has to purge out all the other stuff. And that is a struggle. Let it go. Be gentle with yourself. And get out there and play a little bit. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Friendship. Yeah, let your friends help you. I see that you need to get out there and have some fun. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Let your friends help you during this struggle. So anyway, Sagittarius, this is what I have for the end of June. I feel you are gaining strength, wisdom, courage, confidence, and mastery of your emotions during this time. So do I see that, that new love is coming in? No, because it's a time of oneness. You know what oneness is? Oneness is you with the divine. It's about you connecting with the divine. Is there time for love when you are going through this? No. Self-love, yes. But I don't feel like you can actually focus on that at this time. I feel like this is a time of, of you. You, 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 you. I need to, I need to work on me. Many of you are embarking on a brand new spiritual journey. You may be even unaware that this is happening. But you do have a new beginning right in front of you. Trust. Have faith. So anyway, Sagittarius, this is what I have. You're going through some sort of healing process, renewal, oneness, a oneness with the divine. I think that you guys are evolving. And this really isn't a time of, of inviting love, new love and partnership into your life. I don't see that. I feel like this is a time of me. It's time for me to get to where I need to be. That's what I have. Talk to you later.